hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will uh, do an example of layer 3 switch work with router so here we configure uh, what is the vlan if a uh, uh, lot of students ask in comment that uh, what is vlan if why we create vlan if and uh, uh, how to create this uh, vlan if so uh, vlan if is a logical interface a layer 3 logical interface uh, it can be uh, configured with ip address um, VLAN are assigned user in a same VLAN can communicate in with each other so uh, it also called SVI the VLAN if is also called SVI in uh, when we work in a field so we called it as an SVIs so switch VLAN interfaces uh, so uh, suppose we have a multiple uh, VLANs running on a switch so suppose these are VLANs are these VLANs are part of VLAN uh, 30 and others these VLANs are the part of uh, VLAN 20 so uh, we have one gateway suppose we have a router so here we can uh, use this uh, link as a gateway so as uh, you know that every time uh, we have a different VLAN so we have a different network suppose this is a VLAN uh, VLAN 30 so its network is uh, 192.168 uh, 1.0/24 so this is the network of VLAN uh, 20 or uh, 30 and uh, uh, this if this is the VLAN 20 VLAN 20 its network is uh, 2 2 dot uh, 0 so uh, we have one router so if we use uh, uh, routers interface as a gateway so how we can use because this is the uh, different VLAN and it has the different network broadcast domain and this is the different VLAN and it has a different uh, network and broadcast domain so how we use uh, if we have a uh, internet here suppose this is the internet so we are connecting this with the internet suppose uh, here is the internet so this link is going on internet so how we uh, uh, connect these two uh, VLAN to uh, the internet because we have uh, the one gateway if we uh, configure here IP address so here we uh, only use one gateway 2.1 is a gateway for this so how we communicate this VLAN to the internet so that's why we create SVIs or VLAN if on the core switch so this act as a gateway for the uh, VLANs to communicate with each other or to communicate or other to the uh, internet so that's why we create multiple uh, SVIs or VLAN if on the four switches. So it is a logical layer three interface. Suppose this is the network. So it has a different, uh, this VLAN has a different IP addresses or host connect, but there should be a one gateway. So here we create a logical gateway of uh, this VLAN. And here also we create the logical uh, gateway for VLAN 30. And for this, we create an other VLAN. So this will act as a, so th their gateway will be uh, created on uh, core switches and all these gateways are go to internet via this a single gateway so uh, to save the uh, layer 3 interface suppose this is a router and routers uh, every interface is a very expensive suppose the router is very expensive and uh, router has only three to four uh, uh, interfaces so if we waste these interfaces by assigning the ip address of uh, uh, vlan by assigning the gateway of this vlan so we have the uh, a lot of range of uh, VLAN from 1 to 40, 4096. So this uh, this is the range of VLAN. So we have a lot of VLAN. So how we uh, uh, so if we have all VLANs are created over our network, so how we uh, manage their uh, gateway? So that's why we create the gateway on uh, this core switch, and then this gateway communicate with the above layer via this single gateway. So let's go. Uh, I am going to create this gateway. So first of all, we go here and system view so first of all we change the system name as a core switch core switch now i go in interface so first of all we create vlans vlan batch uh, 20 and 30 so here we go in interface vlan if now you can see a vlan if is a logic logical interface and uh, 20 for 20 so i will give here the ip address IP address is 192.168.2.1 is a gateway so here I will give the gateway for this and 24 so I am giving so if I go back so here I have to select DHCP enable 
so i can also enable the dhcp on on this interface of uh, vlan 20 so here i can select dhcp select interface so all the uh, uh, host connect to this vlan 20 will automatically uh, gain the ip address from this interface so this uh, vlan suppose uh, we uh, put these two ports in the vlan 20 and then this PC automatically get the IP address. So interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 2 2 sorry 2 which is uh, uh, this one first one PC and port link type link type is axis and port uh, default VLAN is uh, 20 sorry VLAN is 20 and here we go in uh, port number 3 and here as well we will uh, select port link type action and port default vlan is 20 and display this display this so here we give now if we go here in pc select dhcp so we don't need to give ip address so it will get automatically ip address config so you can see here it uh, take the ip address of uh, vlan 20 so there two is a 20 vlan 20s network so it get, get the ip address of vlan 20 so in a same way this will also uh, get the ip address and their gateway is on core switch ip config so here as well so here we uh, do the same thing we create a gateway for vlan 30 vlan f30 so it is the layer 3 gateway IP address is uh, 192.168.3. Dot, sorry, 1.1.1 one dot, one dot, uh, one is a gateway, and here we also select DHCP, select interface. All the uh, host will get the IP address of this uh, through this gateway. Select interface. Now we go in uh, ports interface. Giga 0 slash 0 slash uh, 4. Four and port link type port link type access and port default vlan is default vlan is uh here the vlan is 30 yes 30 so we go here in port number 5 and here as well 30 so this will also get the automatically IP address from DHCP from their gateway. Their gateway is also configured on course. Now you can see here it get the IP address from gateway. So here we create uh, if we they want to go on internet. So their two gateways are uh, configured here. So here is a single link. So how they go on internet via this link? So we have to configure another VLAN on uh, this interface. So we'll go VLAN, suppose VLAN uh, 100 interface VLAN if 100. So we'll give the IP address as a 10.1.1.1 on this side 24 and go in this interface 0 slash 0 slash 1 and port link type link type access and port default VLAN. sorry port default vlan is 100 so i give the 100 as a this vlan so now we go on interface of router uh, interface giga 0 slash 0 slash uh, 0 and here i'll give the uh, ip address of same network 10.1.1.2 and 24 now they will be uh, both would be reachable to each, each other 10.1.1.1 uh, because they are point to point so they will be uh, reachable to uh, each other but here if i create a interface loop back zero and uh, i will create a ip address of suppose google 8.8.8.24 so it will not reachable from here they will not uh, be reachable to thing 8.8.8.8 so we have to give the uh, uh, gateway as well so here we will give the gateway that if you want to go on 8.8.8.8 go through this uh, next hope so here we select the gateway so ip route static 
if you want to go on 8.8.8.8 or default route anywhere on internet go through 10.1.1.2 which is the this interface this is the next hop and here we will give the if you want to go IP route static if you want to go on network uh, suppose uh, 192.168 1. Uh, 1.0 and uh, 24 with the subnet mask go through this interface 10.1.1.1 and if you sorry IP route route static yes route static if you want to go on 192.168.1.0.24 network go through 10.1.1.1 which is the this interface so same will do for if you want to go on VLAN 20 network or VLAN yes VLAN 20 is network which is 2.0 go through same interface now they will be reachable to internet yes they are reachable to internet so to save the uh, layer 3 interface we have saved just we just configure one interface here which is the VLAN uh, 100 and we give the IP address and these two VLANs are uh, reachable to internet just via one link so we save the layer 3 interface if we have this 4094 interface VLANs so how we so we need a separate uh, uh, link and interface for each VLAN so that's why to save this we create a logical interfaces SVIs on core switch to save the uh, uh, physical interface so here you can connect another interface suppose here you connect a PC it's uh, its VLAN is uh, VLAN is uh, suppose uh, 40 so VLAN is 40 so you just connect here uh, just connect and on this PC here you just create a SVI here uh, VLAN 40 just go here create a SVI interface VLAN interface 40 and just select a random IP address as a 192.168.40.1.40.1 sorry 40.1 is a gateway of this interface and DHCP select interface interface now we just go here in port port number 006 interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 6 and just pass the VLAN port uh, link type Access and port default VLAN is uh, uh, 40, I think. Yes, 40. No, 40. VLAN 40. Uh, VLAN 40. Just go here on PC. So you create a third uh, interface gateway. So you don't need a separate uh, physical interface to create this VLAN. Just you create a logical interface on. On core switch so that's why to save uh, this just that's why you save just to save the physical interfaces we create this interface logical interface on core switch and these three now you can select many inter uh, uh, VLANs and just create a interfaces here which is the logical interface you need one interface to go on internet you don't need separate physical interface of every VLAN to go over the internet so that's why we create this SVI or VLAN if which is the logical interface to save the physical interfaces on IP addresses so this is a logical layer 3 interface so thank you hope you like the video if you have any questions so you can ask in comments so I can uh, make another video for you so uh, thank you very much